Hey guys, this is Nathan, and welcome back to Sky Factory. So, to start out with today, we have a big problem. I just went through and cleaned out a bunch of junk in my drives, but my ME system is pretty well completely maxed out on what it can hold. So we're going to have to go ahead and make some more of the 16K drives. Now, one of the things that we are having happen is we are running out of space and not types. So I think I'm going to make a bunch of the 16K drives to start out with, and we're going to have to uh, switch some of our 4K drives to the 16K. So first off, we need to make these storage components to do that. We need to start out with the 1K, so we're going to make a whole stack of these. And actually, I think we're going to make three stacks of them just because. Then we need to make the 4K, so we should be able to make... Well, what did we run out of there? Um, quartz glass. How do we make that? Okay, well, that's just a crafting recipe. Okay, so we'll make up a few recipes of that. And now we should be able to make our 4K components rest of those so we get 64 of those and now we can make up our 16k so we've got 30 of them but uh, we're not going to be making quite that many so now I'm just going to make a couple of these 16k uh, storage components to start out with and I'll probably make up a few of the 64k as well because we are getting some items in here that we've got an awful lot of and so uh, we're going to need more and more storage space. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put these into the system and I'm going to do my usual, you know, call it defragmenting of the drives and get some of these 4K down here emptied, break them back apart, and I'll make up some 64Ks as well and possibly even another drive assembly. But I'm going to get all that taken care of and I'll be back. So what I have done here is I have made 10 of the 64K drives and oddly enough that in and of itself was enough to hold all of my items. So as you can see we have some of these that are getting rather full but uh, yeah we still have this one here really has nothing in it and then the 16K down here below not a single one of them is touched. I have two extra left and a couple extra storage housings. So uh, storage is not an issue again for a little while. So now we're going to look into the big project for today. And for that we are going to be heading down this way. What I'm going to be doing, we're going to extend out a little bit further here and we're going to build another one of these big platforms like this center one. And then we're going to go off in that direction a little bit because I need a very large area for Thomcraft. So yes, we are going to be getting into Thomcraft today. So uh, I'm going to try to figure out how to be able to do this in a time lapse. I want to build that or path out there and the platforms and everything. So I'm going to figure that out and uh, yeah, let's roll the time lapse.
hope you enjoyed the time lapse. Uh, we definitely now have a very large area that we can use for our Thomcraft research and machinery that we will need later on. So uh, that's what we're going to be doing in this platform right here. And yes, by far, this is the largest platform I have built. It is twice as large in diameter as these bigger of the central platforms. And it is just massive. So uh, I started doing a little bit of looking at the Thaumonomicon here, which is uh, something that I've been getting periodically out of our loot bags. Usually I will recycle them, but I've kept one. So what we need to do first, it shows how to make the Thaumonomicon. Normally you would make that with a bookshelf and a, an iron cap wand. So you put a bookshelf in the world and I think you click on it. But next we need the research stuff. And to do that, we're going to have to build a wand and then a thaumonomic or a thaumometer. So uh, to build the wand, first off, we need to make a, uh, a couple of caps. So we need iron nuggets for that. And we just place those in a, uh, oh, like a helmet configuration and we'll get two iron caps. Now what we'll do is we'll take these two iron caps and a stick, place a stick in the middle and that will give us an iron capped wand. So we now have the wand. Now I think this thing has absolutely no charge on it so uh, I am probably going to have to go to the nether for a little bit and kill some mobs, get that charged up. But uh, we've got a few things that we've got to set up here to even get going on Thomcraft. So I'm going to get this wand charged up, and uh, then I'll come back and... Whoa! Hello! But I'll get that all charged up, and then uh, I will figure out uh, what we need to do as far as getting all of our stuff going. Well, I have made myself up the Thaumometer. So far, the only thing that I have been able to get any information on is a torch, and that gives us one lux, I believe is what this is. But, uh, so, we've been picking up knowledge fragments from uh, various loot bags and things like that, so I know that if you right-click these, it gives you a little bit of stuff, so we're getting research points here. So I'm just going to go ahead and run through all of these real quick, and it's going to take forever for it to get rid of all of that information over on the side of the screen. But, uh, yeah, we've got a few things that we have to do here. I know one of the first things we have to do is make ourselves a table, and I believe that's done by placing a crafting table down and clicking on it with a, a wand, but I could be wrong. So this wand is fully charged. Let's try this. No. Well, I'm not sure how this works. Like I've said before, I have never done anything with Thomcraft, so I am unsure about any of this stuff. Now, I know that we do have to make uh, scribing tools, so that might be the first step here. So, we have plenty of glass bottles from all of the potions that we have run through our potions generator and by the way this is the recipe for the thaumometer any of the uh, thaumcraft shards two gold ingots and a piece of glass so if we go ahead and make up the scribing tools we can do this with a glass bottle feather and ink sac you can also use the glass file from thaumcraft and it looks like there's another recipe oh hmm do scribing tools take durability? They must, I guess. So we'll go ahead and make up a bunch of these. I don't know how many we need. But, uh... Now I know here in the thaumometer it was saying something about, uh... A research table. I'm not sure how to do that. So... Here it shows, uh... How to make the scribing tools. Okay, nothing really there. Combining aspects, still nothing. So, to craft a research table, simply place two tables next to each other. Okay, so we need to make a table. So, let's see if we can find something about a table. And actually, we'll clear out the Thomcraft and we'll go table. 
So we need a research table. Here we go. So that's a pretty simple recipe. So we'll go ahead and make this. There we go. So it was not a crafting table. It was one of these tables. So we'll go ahead and place this down here and we'll hopefully get going on our stuff. So if we do this and uh, we place a, there we go, place a scribing tool on it. Now we have a research table. So we have a fair amount of stuff here. I don't know exactly how any of this works, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to probably do a little bit of research. I know that Lux is not a primal aspect and it looks like I used up all of my Lux points. So I don't know, I'm gonna have to do a little bit of research as to how this works. And I will be back when I've got something figured out. So I've been going around doing quite a bit of research here. I've gotten quite a few things here. Apparently I still can't research a pig. I've already researched uh, chicken and sheep, but I've gotten a whole bunch of stuff here. So I kind of figured out how this is working. So what I did is uh, I knew that the Lux comes from Air and Ignis. And if we click on this combine button, it will make more Lux. So I did that with all of the stuff that I had. I got quite a bit of the compound aspects here, like the, the Limus, it's a, uh, a combination of a compound aspect and a primal aspect so I mean there's quite a bit of stuff here I've been finding all kinds of stuff I went to the deep dark and scanned a couple of the uh, infused ores and there's a lot of stuff that I have been able to scan so far but uh, we're supposed to have some research notes available to us but uh, Let's see here. See if we can find the ones that we had. Um, no. Dig deep. So let's see here. Basic wand craft. Yeah, and I've already done that. We need scribing tools and paper. Okay, so we need some paper. So let me get over here, and actually I'm going to sleep to get rid of this rain, because I hate rain. So we'll grab some paper. I know I've been getting a lot of that from the loot bags, so we shouldn't have any problems there. So we'll grab a stack of paper, and now we should be able to research here. So there we go, research note on that. So we'll head back over to the basic information. We should be able to get some of this now. So that one, um, advanced note tapping. So there's gonna be a few things I'm gonna have to go through here and find out all of the stuff that I can research now. So I'm gonna do that, try to do a little bit of research here. And uh, yeah, I will be back in a little bit. So I am starting to get a little bit of this researching here figured out. So I've done a couple of them here. I've got the niter, and this is not exactly the most efficient way that you could go through this. But what you have to do, I started out with the Lux and the Ignis, and you have to be able to connect the two, whether it be through uh, an aspect that the current one will break down into, or one that it can be combined with something else to go to. So for instance, in this case, Lux is Air plus Ignis, so I put down Ignis. Well, Ignis can be crafted into Jellum with Perdicio, or not, this isn't Perdicio, that, yeah, that's Perdicio. So then Perdicio goes back to Jellum and then back to Ignis. As I said, not exactly the most efficient way to do it, but it's able to be done. Now this one, V-Shroom from the Sky, this one, I'm pretty proud of the layout on this one. I had to connect Herba, Ignis, and uh, Precantatio and uh, yeah, going through this, Herba plus Air is Arbor, so we can go to Air from that. Well, Air and Ignis is Lux, and Air and Precantatio is Aurum. So 
that's a pretty short connection there. Only used four additional aspects. So I'm pretty proud of that one, but we're gonna do this one real quick, just uh, on camera. It's a really simple one. So we have Aqua here, Ordo here, and what, when I looked at this, the first thing that I thought was we've got two primal aspects here. What can I put in the center here that both of these aspects can combine with? Well, I can put air there. So air plus uh, aqua, if we look at that, air plus aqua is tempestus. Uh, let me see right here. So we can put that in there and it connects the three. You see the line going through them. Well, air plus ordo, and you'll have to give me a second, I've gotta switch my pages here in my notebook. That gives us mortis. So where is mortis? Is it, no, motus, right here, motion. So we do that and it connects them. So that's a pretty easy one, but you can see how you have to do that to get your research done. Now, once you have these completed research notes, then all that you need to do is right click those and it will add them to your uh, Thaumonomicon. So if we come in here, that last one was the V-Shroom from the sky. So, uh, no, that wasn't the, yeah, that was V-Shroom from the sky, wasn't it? No. I don't even remember which one that was. No. That's a problem. But I already completed the Great Wood from the sky, and this is going to be a pretty big deal to get this, but the Great Wood is a pretty important tree to get, and it's a requirement of being able to do the Silver Wood. And I can click to get uh, research notes on that. But we need to set up an arcane infusion table for that. We need buckets of witch water, cinder pearls, shimmer leaf, and then a jungle sapling. Well, out of this stuff, the only of that that we have at the moment is a jungle sapling. We have the ability to make the witch water. We've done that before. But I already have the research notes for the shimmer leaf and the cinder pearl. But if we look at those, so let's go ahead and head into the table here. So we have the where did it go? I just saw it. Shimmer leaf. We have an unknown aspect that we have to link to here. And if we look at the aspects here, you can see I put in aspect colon. That gives us all of the aspects for Thomcraft, and you can see at least half of them I have not discovered yet. Now, just a second ago, I discovered a new one. It was uh, Alienus. Oh, where is that one at? I can't see it. But I uh, scanned... Oh, right here. So I scanned one of my crystals over on the QED, and that gave me Alienus. So, yeah, that's a pretty big deal. But need to get all of this stuff set up. And... Uh, I suppose real quick I'll add these. We'll just look at the V-Shroom from the sky so that we can get an idea of how this works. So once you've added that, then we can come in here and you can see uh, V-Shroom is a material with many talents. So we need to do this in a crucible with Herba, uh, Precantatio, and Venom with a mushroom, you know, in a crucible. And uh, that kind of stuff we'll go into a little later but we have to be able to melt down items that have these specific essences in them. So like Herba, we would have to go to like these leaves. And the leaves, I believe, is one Herba, so that's pretty easy. And I still can't scan the stinking pig. I have scanned the cow already. So, but yeah, I've been just going around scanning all kinds of things. I've even tried throwing like my tools on the ground and scanning those and, and nothing can be learned from that one. And I haven't tried the Thaumonomicon. Why have I not thought of that? Oh, the study, you have to study spirits. Okay, so yeah, there's a lot of stuff for me still to figure out. But uh, yeah, I'm going to just go ahead and keep working on the research that I can do here. And uh, I'm going to see how we're doing on the episode. And I'll be back in a little bit.
Well, I have been going through the Thaumonomicon pretty heavily. I have found an awful lot of research notes here. What is this? Um, is that 13, 12 or 13 that I am missing aspects for? So I can't do those. Now I have completed eight of them. So that's good. We've got the uh, Alumentum, Advanced Node Tapping, Shimmer Leaf from the Sky, Red Crystal, Silverwood from the Sky, Magic Metallurgy, Wand Foci, and Arcane Levitator. So we were able to do all of those and you know we can look at the way that these worked. And this one here, yeah, probably could have done it better, but it wasn't bad. This one was pretty easy. There was one here, this one here. So I was going to go out into the Terra on this side, and then I placed Ordo here, and it connected up, and I was like, um, okay. But yeah, all of these, are some of them are a little more complex. Um, can't remember which one it was. There was one of them here that was really bad. This one here, there were four locations on it, and there were some really weird things in the grid as well. And this one, once again, was pretty simple. But so we're going to go ahead and add all of those to our Thaumonomicon so that we can have all of that ready to go. And that's the end of that. So now we'll go ahead and open up our Thaumonomicon. This will probably unlock a few more uh, things that I haven't done yet. So, uh, Master Node Tapping, that's one that we haven't had yet. Node Preserver, yeah, we definitely haven't had that one. So I'm pretty much going to have to just go through here and find the things that uh, I need. Equal Trade, hmm. Missing some stuff there. The Copper Wand and Gold Wand Caps I already have. But I can't research them because I'm missing things. So, yeah, it's just going to be a lot of going through here again. The magic tallow I couldn't do. So let's take a look at this. The magic magical metallurgy. So this is to make thaumium. So we need four precantatio and then an iron ingot in the crucible. So this is not an overly difficult recipe to make the thaumium. And then we've got these tools that we can make with it. Now, I get most of these from our loot bags, and I end up throwing them away. But these are things that we don't get from that. The helmet, the chest plate, leggings, and boots. But I don't think we're going to be using those, being that we have our Zavisio armor. So we've got a few more things here that we can look at. So this one's got four, and once again, like I was saying, it's got some openings in the grid. Makes it a little more difficult to do. This one here, I'm missing two aspects. Wow, got to be really careful on that one. So uh, here we have just three, and then three again. So it's going to be a little bit more researching on that stuff. I don't remember which one it was that I couldn't do. I think it was this one, yeah. So I'm going to drop this one off in the chest here. Hopefully in the future we'll get the aspects that we need to be able to research those things. But uh, I think we're close enough to the end of the episode that I'm going to say thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to give a thumbs up and let me know. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, and as always, if you have any thoughts or comments or anything like that, especially now that I'm into Thaumcraft, I know a lot of people really like Thaumcraft, so uh, yeah, if you have any tips for me on that, go ahead and let me know, and I don't know, see, there we go, yeah, kill the cow. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.